All right, we are back with another prize picks video. This one's going to be NFL Sunday. I know we got college football going on right now. Uh, a few of those games just started. Um, and if you're interested in those picks, I do have a video out already on that. I think four of the picks are still available. Those games don't start for a few more hours. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking NFL today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we've been ripping out videos daily. We're just over a month old, and we just hit 1,000 subscribers. Um, so already on the road to 2,000. Um, so if you're new, definitely subscribe down below. Leave a like on the video so more people can see it. And uh, leave a comment. Once I'm finished with these picks, let me know if you love them. Let me know if you're tailing them. Um, and also let me know if you hate one of these picks uh, and try to talk me, you know, talk in the comments. It's been uh, it's been great to see you guys in there. Um, but let's jump right into it. I got, again, six picks for you guys. Um, first guy I'm going to go with is Stafford. We're going over his 261.5 passing yards. Um, a lot, a lot of reasons why I like Stafford today. First up, I already got his page pulled up here. Um, 260, is it 260.1? So we got 261.5. Um, perfect. Stafford is going up against Pittsburgh, uh, who allows 245.6 passing yards in the air. That's ranked 25th, so one of the uh, you know worst passing defenses in the league, um, or what bottom third at least, bottom fourth. And um, he's gone over this in four or six games, 67% on the year, uh, over up 300 on you know three of those games as well. He's got a ton of weapons. Cooper Cup's now back. Um, he's got Puka still down the line. And uh, there's no Kyron Williams today, too. So they already relied on the pass game a lot, uh, and now they don't have their number one back. So I think there's going to be a lot of passing against this poor passing defense. Um, it's a close spread as well. I think it's a minus three. Um, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Rams are uh, – that's next week. Rams are a minus three. So they are favored in this. Um, but if it keeps – you know, if keep it close, again, he just has so many weapons, and I think uh, I think he can do the damage early. Um but yeah, that's going to be the first pick, Matthew Stafford over 261.5. Um, and then the next pick, it's kind of like a coupling for Stafford here. Um, I'm going to do a combo, actually. I'm going to go to Tyreek Hill, and we're going to combo him with Cooper Cup. 191.5 sounds like a lot, uh, but obviously these guys can rack up yards. Uh, I already kind of talked about the matchup for Cooper Cup. Um, this Pittsburgh defense allows a lot of yards in the air. Uh, very similar to Tyreek Hill as well. He is, we'll just pull up his page right here, Tyreek, uh, Tyreek Hill right here. Um, you can look at his receptions also. Um, we're going over his 97.5 pretty much. Uh, they're going up against a Philly team um, that ranks 20th, so bottom third in the league, 254 point, uh, or 254 even uh, receiving yards allowed. So I think one of these guys could have a 150-yard game uh, easily, um, and I'm kind of liking the combo for a little... Uh, for, for a little cheeky little combo, 191.5. Um, and again, easily they could easily go both for 100, um, but it gives us a little you know insurance if one of them doesn't um, and the other guy pops off. So that's going to be my combo, Cooper Cup and Tyree Kill. And again, it kind of combos with uh, Stafford as well. Next up, we're going to go to Marquise Brown. Oops. Uh, I'm going to his receptions. Um, you can always look at his you know, receiving yards um, when we're talking about receptions. But I'm going to his receptions, 4.5 receptions. Uh, going up against a Seattle team. All right, so Marquise Brown, we're going to go to his receptions. Looks like plus money is on the under, um, so odds definitely favoring the over here. Four and a half. He's gone over this in three of six games, so 50% of the time he's uh, he's reached this. But really, really good matchup in Seattle. Uh, they're dead last in receptions allowed um, as, a, as a whole. 27.4 receptions allowed per game. Uh, if we look a little farther into this and we go to wide receivers specifically, um, let's go check them out. Pretty sure they're also just dead last. Yards to wide receivers. Uh, okay, so they're 30th. So they're giving up a ton to wide receivers specifically too. Um, sometimes you see these guys like in the middle of the road and they give up a ton to, you know, running backs and tight ends. Um, so this one, just want to be more specific about it. It is wide receivers. Uh, he is their number one car target. 28.28% uh, of the targets go to him, 53 targets on the year. Um, and in the game that they're underdogs, I think they're 8.5-point underdogs. Cardinals, 8.5-point underdogs. Uh, they should be slinging this if they're down. Um, so favoring the run, favoring the pass game, um, money's on the over, mat, uh, matchup looks great, and uh, history is solid as well. So really liking Marquise Brown for the over 4.5 receptions. That's the third one. Let's go into the next one here. 
Josh Jacobs, we went to him a few videos ago, and he killed it for us. We're going back to him. Uh, what do we got? 22.5. All over the place here. 22.5. This was at 20.5 earlier, so it is trending upwards, um, which is a good sign. We think people are betting the over. Let's go find Jacobs' line. 20. They got a 24 and a half over here. Um, over. Yeah, so we've got a money minus 130 on the 22 and a half. Uh, so that's great value on prize picks. He's gone over in 3-5. Uh, but again, going up against a really poor passing defense in Chicago. Um, they're allowing 206 or 276.2 receiving yards um, per game. That's ranked 28th. And then specifically two running backs. Um, they're allowing 61 receiving yards per game to running backs, which is 32nd, dead last in the league. Um, just to kind of prove that or show you guys um, yards here. Bears, 61.0 receiving yards for running backs. So I think Jacobs can get there. They're also a pretty solid uh, run defense. If we look at this Chicago Bears defense, um, defense, not like the best, but yeah, eight, they're ranked eighth, um, allowing 89.5 rushing yards per game. So if Josh Jacobs isn't, you know, doing his best in the run game, um, maybe they find him surface for some dump passes. So that's Josh Jacobs for us. And let's move on to second to last pick. We're going to Musgrave, the Rook. Coming off a of bye week, um, I think they get him even more involved in the offense. Another one of these um, specific matchups. Let's just pull up his page here real quick. Check out his page, 33 and a half receiving yards. So as you can see, he's gone over. Or let's get this not under. We're going over. Uh, over in the three of the five games he's played so far, um, we can look at the target share as well. Four targets, eight targets, seven targets in the games he uh, went under. He just wasn't involved. One target, one reception uh, in this game versus Detroit. But really, really good matchup. Uh, again, like I mentioned, Denver gives up a lot of receiving yards total. 31st ranked in just total yards, 285 um, allowed per game. But specifically two tight ends. Let's go check that out. <coughs> Sorry. Tight ends. Specifically, two tight ends. The Broncos are dead last. 75.67 receiving yards, two tight ends um, specifically. So, uh, super duper good matchup for them. Um, if you're on, like, sleeper or something, you can see, like, the the who are they going up against. And you'll see Denver will probably be, like, the brightest green you can get. Um, so, just a very, very good matchup for them. Coming off a of bye, uh, should be more involved maybe in the passing game, which we'd love to see. And uh, he's one of their best uh weapons for sure it's probably one of the better tight ends in the league um or will be eventually and uh yeah i think he's just getting better every game and uh loving him at this spot so that's luke musgrave over 33.5 let's lock that one in and then our last pick is going to be a kicker we're going to go to gano for the giants let's just pull up his page here uh 5.5 uh the money is on the over if you're looking for, uh, if you're someone that just goes strictly off the, the odds. Um, but he's gone over in four of six games. Um, and then if Daniel Jones is out, he's it's kind of even a more of a plus for us. Uh, in the game he's missed, he had nine kicking points, so we'd love to see that. They're the worst red zone efficiency in the entire league. 31.2% um, is just horrible. And uh, if they can get down the field, obviously they're going to be kicking field goals to try to get some points on the board. Um and Washington also given up the one of the most uh, kicking points per or not per game just on the whole year they gave up 51 on the year, uh, which ranks 31st. So uh, good matchup, solid history, horrible red zone efficiency, and uh, yeah, I'm liking Gano for for kicking points today. So that's gonna do it for the the six picks. A little recap: Matthew Stafford over 261.5. Um, again, no Kyron Williams, so a very pass heavy offense is gonna be even more pass heavy, I think. Um, and again, we're kind of coupling here with Cooper Cup uh, with some Tyreek Hill insurance um, for a 191.5 combo for those two guys. That's over as well. We got Marquise Brown over receptions. You can definitely look at his passing yards as well. Uh, the Seattle defense, you know, giving up two wide receivers is dead last. Um, so loving, loving to see that. 27.4 receptions per game to uh, against Seattle. So really liking that. Josh Jacobs. Could be utilized in the passing game. Um, you know, this Bears defense has a solid, you know, I think they're ranked eighth 
in the league in terms of rush defense. Uh, so I could see him getting some dump passes and getting downfield. I think he had like a 60-yard reception um, just a few games ago. So he could punish them in the throwing game. Musgrave coming off the bye. Uh, I think they, you know, incorporate him into the offense even a little bit more. Um, and hopefully that's a, that's a pass or two uh, to get over that line. And uh, this Denver defense gives up a ton to tight ends. So like in Musgrave, over 34.5. And then Gano <clears throat> kicking points uh, over as well. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, definitely, you know, have fun watching college football today. If you haven't seen that video, four of those picks are still valid. I think the next games are like 3.30, so you have a few hours to get those in. Um, also, if you're interested, uh, we're doing like a discounted version now because some of the games have already started. Uh, but you can get my entire sheet, cheat sheet for college football and NFL. Um, I'm doing both of them. It has like 45 plus uh, picks, and they all have analysis with them. So they're not just like blindly my picks. Uh, you can look at them, you know, use your own knowledge and and uh, read the little descriptions and uh, base your picks kind of off that. This is the one from last week. Um, after it's over, I kind of like color code it so you can see easily what we did. 19-1 uh, to was our crazy first week. Uh, came back down to earth, but pretty solid. It's 16, 12, and 1. I'm uh, hoping to do better than that this week. But as you can see, like Joe Milton, gone over in four or five games. You can see the spread right here. Uh, Texas A&M allowing 184. Uh, passing yards, which ranks 21st, if Tennessee can stay ahead, which they did. Uh, nice positive game script. The little combos here when they don't have a uh, space between them. But yeah, if you're interested in that, email me down below. Uh, it is in the video description. But that's going to do it. Uh, football tomorrow and today, all day. Uh, you know, you can't complain with that. And then I will keep saying, and NBA is right around the corner. Uh, cannot wait to rip videos out daily for that. So that's going to do it for this one. Let's make some money. Peace out.